The political crisis in rivers has reached fever pitch as the Martin Amewile led State House of Assembly has issued a seven day ultimatum to Governor Siminala Yifubara to represent the 2024 budget to the House. The order was given at the first sitting of the Assembly after the appeal court ruling last week that uh, the Port Harcourt High Court barred the Amewile led Assembly from parading themselves as members of the House. Fubara had controversially presented the budget to, a four factional to four factional members of the Assembly loyal to him when his current Chief of Staff, Edison Ehi, presided as the factional speaker, after which the governor signed the budget into law. This is the second time the Amewili led Assembly would direct Fubara to represent the budget. Part of the deal brokered by President Tinubu in the past to resolve the political impasse in the state required the governor to represent the budget to the full house led by Mewele. But the governor would later renege on, the, on that aspect of the truth. Reacting to the development, a legal expert Evans Rufeli says it's legally wrong for the Martin Mewele led House of Assembly to hold a sitting and give an ultimatum while the case is still in court. The court you know, had said that you should not parade yourself as lawmakers before now. And then you went on appeal. Now, what the appeal court did was to say the courts that made the ruling that you should not parade yourselves as lawmakers, that that court have no jurisdiction to so do. Now, the court of appeal did not go into the merit of your case in terms of whether you are lawmakers or not. And then you want to give the state automation and all that, that is very wrong. I don't know who is advising their Maule's fashion, but the truth is that um, the Jumbo fashion has gone to the Supreme Court. And like we all know, before you file a case at the Supreme Court, you usually they will file a motion to stay execution of the judgment. Okay? The judgment already passed. And once that is done, parties are supposed to maintain the status quo when an appeal has been entered. So why should you now go and start acting when you, are, you ought to maintain the status quo until the Supreme Court determines the substantive suit? So that is very, very wrong. I don't know who advised them to begin to disrupt the states further. When will this crisis end? That is the question. When? Because it does not look like the Amarulis fashion, it's like, it does not look like they uh, know what they should be doing part time. Why are you now threatening the governor, threatening the state, threatening whoever as to your position when there is an appeal already hanging on your neck that you need to face? All they need to do now is to face that appeal and have it dealt with. No one can say whether Fubara is working or not. Because even if he has done everything, everything is engulfed by the fire of this dispute. You understand? Uh, people cannot even see what he has done, whether he has really done well or not, because the dispute itself is louder than any progress that has been made in that state. So it looked like the River State electors just assembled themselves in the last election, donated their allegiance to uh, their sons and daughters.